So I guess the context for my very brief introduction to the next award winner is quite simple. Israel right now has the most right-wing and the most pro-settler government in its history. Uh, the government led by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu can only be compared to the previous government led by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And the, the trend for right-wing governments led by Prime Minister uh, Benjamin Netanyahu doesn't show any sign of changing. At a time like this, the need for independent and questioning media is more important than ever. Uh, what's left of the uh, left wing in Israel warn that the space for democracy is shrinking and the consequent effect on the level of public discourse and freedom of speech is also quite chilling. Uh, our next winner writes for one of the last bastions of, of this liberal questioning and brave Israeli journalism. Uh, he's a veteran columnist. He tackles existential questions such as the nature of Zionism itself, the occupation, apartheid, and the dynamic between the secular and the religious nature of the Jewish state. Now, his work has proved extremely controversial, both within Israel and without, which, within the context of the current climate, makes it even more important. And the winner is... אוסקרי <laughs> 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 זה הרגע שכל אחד מייחל לו בחיים, הרגע שמקבלים הכרה על ההפלה לפסגה. And the winner is Rogel Alfer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi. I actually thought this was the uh, first time in my life ever that I wore a uh, suit with a uh, bow tie, and then there's this uh, evidence here that I did do it on TV before. But um, I did photograph myself dressed like this and sent a uh, sent a picture to my editors at uh, Haaretz, and I think they got a heart attack. So <laughs> I, I I suggested it as a new dress code for. Uh, for columnists that are Aritz, even if they work from home like me. I just think it's like so more honorable. Um, but I do want to say a few uh, uh, serious words. Um, it's getting really increasingly uh, difficult. I write a uh, daily column uh, at Aritz. I write five times a week, uh, ostensibly as a TV critic, but I just use TV as sort of a uh, anthropological tool to uh, analyze the uh, trends in Israeli society. And I think that it is, uh, in the climate in Israel right now, it's, it's a dark time. And it's increasingly difficult to oppose um, the occupation, to even mention it by name and say that it exists to oppose the uh, racism, the radical nationalism, uh, the apartheid regime being erected uh, in the West Bank, to just speak your conscience and fight for morality and human justice and what you think is right. Um, um, I suffer uh, daily uh, really bad attacks on uh, social media talkbacks, uh, 
you can ask my wife, she's sitting here, she can't read the stuff. It's, you know, it's threats, it's ridicule, it's uh, being labeled a traitor daily, uh, a fifth column. There's a, uh, we're witnessing an erosion of democracy and of free speech in Israel. It's just a very toxic atmosphere. People are, are, are scared to speak their minds. Um, the opposition to the occupation, I think, is, is shrinking. And, and I get a lot of, uh, well, I wish it were a lot. It's not a lot. But I do get people writing me and, and, and talking to me or even stopping me on the street and saying, you know, thank you for, for speaking out, for having the courage to speak out. I don't know how you do it. I'm scared to write that kind of stuff. Um, I'm surprised you're still alive, and so on and so forth. Um, and uh, we, we, we're witnessing the sort of there's this sort of incremental um, authoritarianism, which goes on in other parts of the world as well, but it's it's taking place in Israel towards a, a dictatorship of the uh, majority, and the regime is uh, is trying to silence criticism and to uh, delegitimize and to, to curb and erode democracy. Um, and, and most of the Israeli uh, public is either hostile uh, or, or just uh, plain uh, indifferent. And um, so I just want to say this, this it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's sort of a lonely job uh, a lot of the time uh, to sit, sit down and, and, and have the, uh, you know, find the interest or find the energy to do it day in and, and day out. Um, and uh, so this award, you know, goes a long way towards, uh, uh, you know, just get showing support. I think it's important that, uh, that the world show support to the opposition to the occupation uh, in Israel. Because um, we do tend to just uh, lose, uh, lose hope. Uh, I think it's sort of, uh, we've given up on the uh, majority of the Israeli Jewish public ever sort of really uh, coming to terms with this with the situation and so you know this sort of support that the this award gives is extremely important and it, it does give me some sort of strength to uh, uh, continue and uh, 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 Daniela asked me earlier do I think that a column that I wrote ever changed anyone's mind and my answer was obviously no and and then she asked why do you do it and so, you know, I've, I've got a new reason for it. I just, I want to get awards. So, um, thank you.